morning and also your nurture chair. We will have a special little um, celebration here later. I uh, want to welcome all of you that are here in the sanctuary and welcome all those that are following us on Facebook. Uh, we uh, invite those that are not coming to the church who are on Facebook. We'd love to have you come to a church and join us. Um, we, we are one big happy family here and, and we'd love to have you join us. Uh, let's see, do we have any uh, announcements at this time? No announcements? Okay. I have one. Oh, I'm sorry. I am going out to Joppa today to uh, visit the homeless, so uh, keep them in your prayers, and uh, thanks for all that you guys provide uh, to those people. Okay, everybody here, Brian? Wish I had his voice. <laughs> uh, okay, are there... Uh, oh, here's one of the things. What do you... Um, the outside sign should be... Uh, the letter for men should be completed next week, hopefully. And uh, if we water come the East Fellowship, it's been repaired. Wow. Good. We thank Woody for following up on all these. Uh, the sign out in front, the one that was uh, destroyed by the, that car accident, it will be finished next week or worked on next week. And the water problem on the east side has uh, been taken care of too. We thank you, Woody, for following through with all of that. Uh, one of the other things we've got going is. Uh, See these little tins? We need uh, some food, some casseroles. Uh, this is for secret. Yeah. How are you going to make this? Now, the recipe. What's the recipe? Uh, it's a chicken casserole. And if someone is willing to make one, I, I think we're doing 12. Uh, they need to be here by Thursday. So if anybody's willing, we have two of these left. Okay? Are there any uh, joys or concerns? Everybody's well this week? Everybody's happy? Almost? <laughs> okay. It's good to see Steve Davis here. Well, Steve, yeah, Steve Davis is here. Yes, we're glad to see you, Steve. last Thursday, and in walks this man, and a bunch of us were sitting there and said, we know you, we've seen you before, who are you? And he looks at us, and he knows, he knows Sandy Bell, and a bunch of other people. His name is Wayne Ellis. Anybody remember Wayne Ellis? His mother, Margaret Ann Ellis. Uh, well, Wayne, Wayne's not a little boy anymore. He's grown up, and... Uh, he was, he was just, came, came to the church just to reminisce, and uh, we, we gave it to him. <laughs> and we invited him to come back, so <laughs> hopefully he will. Okay. Uh, Steve, there's nothing like a mama. <laughs> they will always clap the loudest. <laughs> I'm Catherine Latanya, and it is wonderful to be, to be with you in worship this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, I'll be helping to lead worship this morning with Miss Charlotte. As we gather together for worship, we come with um, individuals and situations in our hearts and our minds, and this is the time to offer those um, up unto God. Will you join me in this response of prayer? Almighty God, we offer up these people and situations in our world today. For those who need the necessities of life, food, clothing, shelter, relationships. Lord, 
for those suffering sickness and disease, be it physical, mental, or spiritual. Lord, be mercy, hear our prayer. For those who have suffered tragic events or natural disasters. Lord, be mercy, hear our prayer. For our world, for those in war-torn countries, for the political divides. Lord, be mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are grieving loss, no matter the time frame, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are in abusive, evil situations, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those suffering from addiction, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who feel alone or can't get the pain to stop, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who don't know you and the power of your resurrection, Lord, in your mercy, hear our Receive all of these prayers, O oh God, and those still resting on our hearts, our minds, and our souls. We offer these prayers with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Join me, please, in the call to worship. If you are able, please stand. <coughs> we shout our proclamation to all the world. Christ is still risen. Christ, Christ is still risen. risen. Transforming God, you have taken the world's darkness and recreated a world filled with the joy, light, and hope. Restoring God, you have turned defeat into sudden victory and recreated a world filled with the joy of peace and shalom. Renewing God, we respond to your mighty deeds with songs of praise, worship, and thankful prayers. You alone are God.
song our beautiful Friends Choir. Uh, if you are able, would you please stand for our opening prayer? Oh God, you have created us, welcomed us, and called us to live as your children. We praise your most holy name.
Okay, stay there. Then, did we miss anybody? If we miss anybody, please raise your hand. Okay. If all women are mom that a nurturer's got one? Okay.
she had written many, many books. And so Sharon, we were talking, Sharon decided that we would uh, start studying from her books. I think the first one was Ruth, wasn't it? Was it Bad Girls of the Bible? Bad Girls of the Bible. Well, she wrote a sequel to that, The Really Bad Girls of the Bible. And then she wrote another one called The Really, Really Bad Girls of the Bible. And we studied all of those. And, and she also had books about Ruth and books about Christmas and Easter, Mary Magdalene. And Sharon, Sharon did all that for years. And uh, I was in her class, and I really, really appreciate you. We thank you very much. They've started a, a group, and um, they called it the Young People, <laughs> which eliminated a few of us. Although I've heard that some people <clears throat> over 55 have crept in. Yeah, well, and that, are welcome. And are welcome. So, so we have the two adult Sunday school classes. So they are studying from the Bible. What are some of the studies you've done? John, Acts, uh, James. We just finished First Peter. So they're, they're taking the Bible and they're reading it literally to what it, what it says. And, and uh, they have a very successful group. And uh, these two ladies, we really appreciate them. Oh. And, and then we have Cheryl Rita, the calmest, <laughs> special person in this church. <laughs> Amen, yes. She, she has been our kids' Sunday school teacher for years. She has done all the preparation work. She does all everything. She knows these kids. She's taught them so many things. I, Sharon, Sharon Davis and I, we go in and we help her. We take turns going in and helping her. I am just amazed at what these kids know. They must be getting some help from home, too. Yay, Carmen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, see how appreciated you are. So, these these gals are great. Yes. <laughs> and no one has given me a heart, so I am really happy. Okay, if you want to look in, in your um, bulletin here, we'll do the uh, teachers' thankfulness. <laughs> We thank you today for all of our teachers and educators who have dedicated their lives to educating our children and adults. We thank you for the ways they have inspired, motivated, challenged us, and guided us into greater knowledge. Oh God, we give thanks for these teachers. Along with instructing us in the Word of God, they have helped us to apply what we learned so that we can apply it to our living, that our lives may glorify God. Oh God, we give thanks for these teachers. We thank you, God, that our teachers help us learn to live productively within our communities and in our world, supplying moral guidance from your kingdom principles. Oh God, we give you thanks for these teachers. We pray especially that you will bless our teachers with your help and grace. Fill them daily with encouragement by showing them specific ways that their teaching efforts are making a difference in their students' lives and in the world. Oh God, we give you thanks for these teachers. We also pray that you will raise up more teachers to teach your word and way, because the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Oh God, help me to be open to hearing your law when you are calling me to teach. Finally, oh God, bless all these teachers for all the time spent in preparing and studying and giving of themselves to share the message of God's word. Oh God, we give you thanks for these teachers and pray your blessings upon them. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise for all of our teachers.
New Testament lesson. This comes from Acts, the 17th chapter, and it's verses 22 through 31. And it reads, Then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athens, I see how extremely spiritual you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription, To an unknown God. What therefore you worship is unknown. This I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, he who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor he made all peoples to inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps fumble about, about for him and find him though indeed he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As even some of our own poets have said, we too, for we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all people everywhere to, re to repent because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged by righteousness by a man whom he appointed. And of this, he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thank you, God. Amen. <clears throat> Will you bow your heads with me just briefly? Almighty oh, God, we thank you for this day, this worship experience. We thank you for the songs we've sung or shared. We thank you for the prayers that have been prayed. We thank you for your word, your word that has been read for our hearing, that you might impart it unto us through our hearts, our minds, our souls, to transform us, make us more and more into your image. Oh God, thank you. Now, oh God, please allow the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Let it be acceptable in thy sight, for you are indeed my Lord, my strength, my redeemer. In Christ's name I pray, giving thanks. Amen and amen. So we have um, a, a wonderful event that is happening in our household. Um, Jasmine is about to graduate from high school. So we are in preparation mode, right? Trying to prepare for graduation and graduation parties. And I think prom was last week, you know, so all those senior high kind of events, we're doing all of that, which, can I just say, okay, I'm sorry, I'm just a proud mama. I'm a pastor, but I'm also a proud mama. So can I just say, Last year, we would have thought maybe this might not have been possible because of the health issues that she was going through. But praise and glory be to God, right? So we are just so excited. So we were, we've been creating, you know, we, we took senior pictures. We, you know, I did her hair and we went out and I took the pictures and we got everything together. And, and then we, you know, getting ready to make our, her announcement. Um, and so we've been sending out announcements. So we've been sending out announcements, and I'm sorry, choir, you can't sing. Okay, okay. So we've been we've been singing, we've been singing, sending out announcements, and I have to tell you, I've been getting sending a lot of these out electronically, and 
a couple of messages I got back was, she looks just like you. Y'all look just alike. One said, oh, she's your twin. Another said, oh, that's your mini me. I don't get it. I don't think she looks anything like me. I think she looks more like my husband and, and, and her grandma on my husband's side. Um, she surely gets the statue from that side of the family, all right? But I got all this out there, well, maybe a little. We were out shopping yesterday, and, um, and as we were out shopping, I noticed that we were looking at some of the same things, you know, picking out some of the same things that, that her taste, and she has her own taste and her own kind of way of doing things, but kind of complimented one another. And, and we're thinking about these comments, right? Y'all look just alike. And maybe we do a little. My mother, my mother is um, um, more of a, a, a light skin and complexion. And, and she has a little freckles, whatever. Um, and so I never saw my likeness in my mom. I, I always saw it in my dad. And I, I do look like my daddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> right? But I never really saw my likeness in, 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 my, in my mother. Um, until I got married and in the wedding pictures, I looked in the wedding pictures and I thought, we look just alike. You see, it's, it's not necessarily totally about, um, about the, the physical um, attributes, but there are also spiritual attributes, but there, there are also mental attributes, right? That there's also just kind of the way you carry yourself, that, that, that atmosphere of how you carry yourself, that you can... You can look at one another. I have to tell you, Mr. Woody reminds me constantly of my father. The, the, the mannerisms he has, the way he sits and he crosses his leg and kind of leans back, and he tells those old stories from long ago. That's just like my daddy. <laughs> there are ways in which we can see reflections of one another and say, wow. You look like this person. In our text today, in our, in our text from Acts, um, Paul is, he, he's become apostle of Jesus Christ and going and spreading the word of Christ. And he finds himself in Athens. And as he's walking around Athens, he, he notices that there are some inscriptions on some uh, some. some religious things, and uh, altars, and, and, and he tells them that those inscriptions are not right. He reminds them that the God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, as though God needed anything. Since God, God's self, gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. See, it's not about the unknown gods that you may be serving, that, that you may be uh, uh, revering. But it is about the God of, of, that made everything, the, the God of the universe that has made all. And that God from, has made from one ancestor. He made all nations to inhabit the whole earth. Can I just stop there and say, you are my brother. You are my sister. Because we have been created all from one ancestor and have made and, and it has inhabited the, the whole earth. And in him, we find that though indeed he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. For we too are.
his offspring. We are brothers and sisters, kinfolk to one another, the very offspring of the living God. <clears throat> we are family. And I don't know about you, but there are many families that I look around and I, I notice, and they act alike. They sort of look just alike, right? They, they, the, the, the mannerisms that, that, that are in family, they, they act just alike. They do the same things. They have the same quirks, right? The same mannerisms, right? The same way that they tell jokes. <laughs> Even sometimes the same way that they laugh. They act and resemble one another. We, beloved, as brothers and sisters, as kinfolk, we should act alike. We should resemble one another. And how is that resemblance made? How should we do that? Well, the scripture says that, in John it says, Christ says that I am in the Father and you are in me and I are in you. Again, telling us that we are all connected. We are all together with Christ. And they that have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And if we love Christ, we keep his commandments and we live in that love. That's how we look alike, act alike. And I hope when we go out into the world, they say, oh, you, you, you act like somebody I know. You, you resemble somebody I know. And that that is the reflection of the Holy God, of Christ's love for us. That we might not just be so concerned about ourselves. That we might actually Give unto others, even sacrifice for others just as Christ has sacrificed for us. <clears throat> Another thing about my mother, in my early adulthood, I began to notice something strange. And especially after I started having children. I began to notice that I was using some of the same phrases that she used on me when I was growing up. Stop that! I mean, just the way she said it, right? Stop that! Right? Now, I'm glad she's not here this morning because I'm going to tell you what she also said. Oh, you idiot! <laughs> right? But she also said, I'm so proud of you. Great job. Life will get hard. But when life gets hard, that means you shine. Right? And I begin to notice that I would do some of the same things. I begin to notice a reflection of my mother in me. Have you ever had that experience? Noticing a reflection of, uh, of a loved one or a family member in you. Or maybe that another family was reflecting who you are. We should be reflections of one another. That we might look like Christ. You know, every Sunday I pray, right before the sermon, as we've heard the word, as we've heard the scriptures, that we might take them in, that it might transform us and make us more like Christ. That we might resemble. That it might not be our own way our own agendas, that, but that we might take on the will and the way of Christ. I hope that we look just, just like Christ. I hope that as we are in Christ, and Christ is in God, that we are reflections of the enormous, amazing love of God 
one another throughout the world. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, thank you so much Oh God, to look like you. You, oh God, loved us so much that you sent your only begotten Son that if we would dare believe in you, we would have everlasting life the sacrifice that Christ made for us <clears throat> is the very sweetness of your love. God, as we receive that love, help us to be reflections of that love that we indeed might look just like you. in all of our ways, in all of our thinking, in all of our dealings. Transform our hearts with your love. Transform our souls with your love. Transform our minds with your love. In Christ's name, amen and amen. I offer you now a moment of prayerful reflection. Amen and amen. We will now um, share together, professing our Christian faith, as we receive into our membership um, Karen Beers. I'm going to have Karen come forth if she would at this time. If you will turn to page 35 in your hymnal. And the profession of our Christian faith begins at part nine. Let us join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testament. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit.
we have the, the privilege and the honor to receive into the local congregation. Beloved, as members of this congregation, will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, and your service? If so, say, I will, Karen. Members of the household of God, I commend Karen to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase her faith, confirm her hope, and perfect her in love. We give thanks for all that God has already given you. We welcome you to Christian love. As the members together with you from the body of Christ and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church, we renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministry of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, and our service. That everything of God may be glorified through Jesus Christ our Lord. May the God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit that you may live in grace and in peace. In all of this, we give thanks and praise, Almighty God. Let's give God a hand clap of praise, and as we welcome Karen Beers and Tony. Thank you.
blessings you have given unto us. Now, O oh God, we give back unto you these tithes and these offerings. As you receive them, multiply them, bless them, and use them, O oh God, for your, for your kingdom's work. God, bless the hand and the heart that gives back unto thee. And may you use all of this to bless someone else. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. As you remain standing, our closing hymn um, is All Creatures of Our God and King. And we'll sing verses 1, 3, 4, and 5.
had to or made the decision to give up a child? For the case of the acts or the sins of his mothers. For the women who have become a surrogate to bless another woman with a child. Thank God for the surrogate woman who blesses another woman to the mom. For all the women who are aunts and care for others' children. Thank God for the women who become surrogate mothers. For all the women who have lost contact with the child or from whom the relationship is very troublesome. Provide gracious and hope to these mothers. For all the grandmothers who have, been, who have had to become mothers again, taking in grandchildren. Provide a double blessing to these mothers. For those women who have lost a child to death and must carry on living. Thank God for the mothers who are so strong. We thank you, Lord, for the women who have influenced our lives in so many ways. Bless, O oh God, all women and mothers who nurture and care for children so lovingly. God, come and bless us with mothers who lack the capacity right now to be a reflection of you in their children's lives. Help them to become whole and healthy. Help us to honor the women and mothers you have given us. In Christ's name we pray. Beloved, go forth, beloved people of God. Go forth in the image of Christ as people of the way. And the people said, Amen.